Um, so I'm just going to make up some data here for our little practice. So I'm going to say that the empty vial was 100 grams. The washers were 110. The hex nuts were 115. And let's just make these 120. So the first table has you um, take a look at just the hardware by itself. So I know that if I mess the vial and the washers and just the vial by itself, then to find just the washers, all I would do is subtract the mass of the vial and washers from the empty vial itself. So this would be 10, and then I would say that there is 10 grams of mass. And then for this one, I would just do 115 minus 100. I'd get 15, and then I would say for every 25 hex nuts, there is 15 grams. Okay, so that, that part's pretty easy. I'm just going to do the washers. You guys can do the rest of these as you go. Um, so the washers, this one says a box of hardware contains 100 pieces this time. Um, assuming there are 25 pieces in each file, calculate the mass of each kind of hardware and then do this in grams per box. Okay? So we're going to say, we're going to copy our for every, from up here, for every 25 washers, there is... 10 grams. Now your number is going to be a little different. And then I want to do this not for 25 washers, but for 100 washers. And I'm going to get, that is, this is times 4. So this will be times 4. So this is going to be 40 grams. So for every one box, there is 40 grams. Okay. Like I said, you guys can do their other parts. For every one box. So um, this time it asks us to take a look at 1,000 grams. How many boxes would we have? So we're trying to relate grams to boxes. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. So I know from the previous calculation that for every one box of washers, there is 40 grams. And this time, I don't want it for 40 grams, I want it for 1,000 grams. So this will be times 25. This will be times 25, so this is 25 boxes. Again, your numbers are gonna be a little different, but for, a thousand, for me, there was 25 boxes for a thousand grams of washers. Okay, and we learned that a barrel has a mass of 65 kilograms. So this is a barrel of hardware. And the mass of the barrel is 9.6 kilograms. Okay, and it says how many boxes of each hardware are in a barrel? Okay, so we've got to calculate the mass of the hardware alone without the barrel. And that's the key, I think, here, is that it says without the barrel. So if I know the barrel, I'm going to have to subtract that barrel, which we said was 9.6 kilograms. And here's the barrel and the hardware right here is 65.2 kilograms. So if I subtract those, that comes out to be... Uh, 55.6 kgs. Okay, and then we're com coming back to here. We have the boxes in a barrel. So this time, I know from this part that this 1,000 grams is the same thing as 1 kilogram. That's the same thing as that. So I can say down here, yeah, I'm going to zoom in a little bit just so you guys can see. For every one kilogram, there is 40 boxes. And this time again, I don't want it for one kilogram, I want it for 55.6 kilograms. So I'm going to come back here and for every 55.6 kgs, there is, and I'm looking for the number of boxes. Now again, to get from 1 to 55.6, I've got to multiply by 55.6. 
That's going to come out to be a number about about 2,000. So I'm just going to say, for the sake of argument here, there's 2,000 boxes. Okay? You guys can use a calculator and figure that out. Everyone. And then this next part asks us to um, calculate the hardware alone, but just for one piece. And I think that's the key here, just one piece of washer. Okay? So we can go back to that first slide, and we know that 25 washers, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. We know that for every 25 washers, there was um, 10 grand. And I don't want to know it for 25 washers. I want to know it for just one washer. So to get from 25 to 1, we've got to divide by 25, which means I'm going to divide 10 by 25, which is 0.4 grams. So now zooming back out, I can say then my answer here is 0.4. So this is going to be for every one washer, there's 0.4 grams. And then it says here, suppose that you were given the job of shipping 25,000 hex nuts to a customer. How many hex nuts would that, how many boxes would that be? And if you go back to the first page and read, it tells us that there are 100 pieces to a box. So we could say that for every one box, there is 100 washers. And I don't want it for 100. I want it for 25,000. So this is going to be times 250. This is going to be 250 boxes. Okay, so this is 250. Um, this would be for washers. This is for hex nuts here, but I didn't do hex nuts. You guys did. Uh, how many grams of hex nuts is this? Well, I know how much each one weighs, and I know how many I had in there. So I could say, going back up here, we said for every one washer there was 0.4 grams. For every one washer there is 0.4 grams. So this time I'm not doing it for one washer, I'm doing it for 25,000 washers. And I'm going to figure out the grams. So this is going to be times 25,000. This is going to be times 25,000. And that comes out to be 10,000 grams. And then this last part says, if your shipping company charges 50 cents per 1,000 grams, so for every 1,000 grams, there is $0.5, right? I want to know it not for 1,000 grams, but for 25,000, which I got from back up here, right? 25,000 grams, there is point, uh, oops, sorry. So this will be times 25, which means this will also be times 25, which will be 12.50 dollar, dollar bill, y'all.